farming without use of soil. And we are in Zambezi. Zambezi is along the Nairobi Nakuru Highway, uh, just a few kilometers from Kikuyu town before Limuru town. Hydroponics has various benefits, and this includes uh, use of limited space. We don't need, you uh, don't require huge uh, tracts of land for you to do hydroponics farming. And then it's smart farming, it's clean farming. We do not use soil, meaning you don't have to get dirty when you're farming. And then uh, hydroponics saves up to 80% water. Also, in places where there is a scarcity of water, then hydroponics comes in handy. And then there's faster growth uh, because of the nutrients that the crops are fed with. And faster growth means uh, shorter farming cycles, meaning a farmer can be able to recoup their investments at a faster rate. And other than that, there is increased output um, on a farmer farms. That means uh, they are able to get more returns, enough to feed their household and enough to sell to make an extra income. In hydroponics, there are various units suited to different farmers. Uh, with hydroponics, we have various units. We have actually two different units. One is the crop unit, and then you have the livestock unit. So for crop units, you can do various leafy vegetables as well as herbs. And uh, we have different systems that a farmer can adopt. One, uh, de depending on the size of the Um, labor on it. You just have to set your pump and water will flow through the crops and uh, you just have to come check how your crops are doing and it makes your work easier. What you do, you have to put a pump that pumps water from the storage tank into the crop and then the small black pipes feed the water through uh, the plastic cups that are holding the inert media together with the crop. So uh, when you're watering your unit, you have to put your hydroponics nutrients into the water. And then when now the pump goes on, the water flows through together with the nutrients up to the last crop. And now that water is recycled back into the reservoir tank. And that's how this particular system saves on water. Because the excess water flows back to the reservoir tank. And then this particular unit is good for lettuce, like what you've grown here. You can do broccoli. You can do cauliflower, you can as well do your spinach and kale. Why the plastic cups? Uh, uh, they are to hold the media for you to be able to plant the crop because uh, the water is pumped into the pipe. So if you just put you in that media, it means it will be clogged towards one end and water will not be able to flow. So the uh, plastic cups have holes to help water seep through to gather the nutrients up to the last crop. Uh, this particular unit can hold up to 450 crops in a particular uh, planting season. And if you're planting something like lettuce, within two and a half months, you've harvested your lettuce and replanted again. So as I mentioned, shorter cycles with increased returns. Intercropping is also something this unit encourages. Uh, the beauty with hydroponics is that uh, you can intercrop your vegetables. Uh, for this particular system, um, you can do two lines of lettuce, two lines of broccoli, two lines of, uh, say, spinach. There is no problem with that because the hydroponics nutrients are universal. 
in all the vegetables that you plant. So it's uh, depending with the need that a farmer has, she or he can always intercrop. There is no effect. When planting with soil, pests and diseases are common. Is this the same case with hydroponics? For this one, it's mostly due to the redu uh, reduced labor. You don't have to do anything else. As long as you've set your timer and your pump correctly, uh, water will flow throughout. You just have to come and uh, add your nutrients because that's critical for the crop. And then come and harvest your crops. And uh, I mentioned that with hydroponics, there is no uh, there's reduced pests and diseases. So you just have to come check on the progress of your crop. So for somebody who does not have time to The second unit is the kitchen garden and it is most suitable for anyone who wants to maximize the space on their balcony. This is what we call a kitchen garden, especially for people who have a small space outside their houses. Uh, as you can see, it's watered manually and uh, this system has been here for almost uh, two years now, uh, as you can see from this stem. Uh, it's best for strawberries and also for spinach. You can also do your kale in such a system. So um, major benefit is that uh, it's easy to maintain as well and it's not expensive to set it up. Uh, like for such a particular system, uh, setting up goes for only 30,000. It's everything. The seeds, uh, the inert media, and the piping system. This one is not automated, so you have to water it uh, manually every time. But the other unit is automated, meaning uh, this has more labor as compared to the other unit. Uh, this is very good for strawberries, uh, spinach, and kale. Uh, it can accommodate up to 300 crops uh, closely spaced. The beauty with hydroponics is that uh, you know most of the pests come from use of soil. So when you're not using soil, there's reduced pests and diseases. But in case there's infection, then you advise our farmers to use 